So, the Mongols have a foothold. They have... Long live Queen Tulip III, the gentle of Iceland. She is a bit old and fat and has a family focus. Good for her. But yeah, she uh, she's very, very diplomatic. And that's... The other stats aren't too bad. And her heir is this little Zoroastrian girl who has now lost both of her brothers to illness. Or one to illness and one mysteriously vanished. Um... Okay. Creepy girl. Alright, but I try to breathe deeply. By catching my breath in the freezing weather is difficult. Look, it's the queen herself, someone shouts. I turn, only to find myself overrun by a dozen of Chief Zahutil's haphazard soldiers. Wait! How can you just take the Italian Crusader Falchion and let me live? Oh, no, 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 no. You can't have our sword. Curses! You can have our leg instead. How's that? The Mongols! Word has reached us that an ambitious Khan from beyond the Great Mountains is set out to unite the clans of the Great Steppe. It is also said by men who raid the stars that this Khan is destined to become the ruler of the world. Well then. So, the Aztec Empire, and then we're having the Mongols come in. That, that sounds fun. Also, Rip Ghana. I guess, uh... They're consolidating down here, the Aztecs are. Yeah. It's an interesting world, but at least, like, the Pope's free. Wait, who's this? She's Queen of Sicily. She owns one province. Okay, that that's cool. I mean, we've also got the Knights of Sardinia actually own Sardinia. Good for them. Bulgaria is slowly dying. Kazari is standing strong. Nice Jewish horse lords. What a world. Oh, the prosperity of Astis Lane increases. I know a good deal when I see one. Yes, let's add a new holding. Now we are seriously in debt. And look at that. Our niece is now our heir. Good for that. Uh, good for them. Um, I think we're going to be terrible. And we're going to borrow 300 from the Jewish merchants. And then we will expel them we can't because we are down to duke oh well we borrowed 300 at least our debt's not quite so bad. we'll pay them back we'll get lots of money very quickly we uh we make 287 a tick also a reward goddamn raiders and half the time i hide he doesn't work there we go well the horrific wound from your maiming is now stinking and oozing pus the pain is debilitating and the courtiers are avoiding you like death itself well we're no longer severely injured but we do have an infection I'd say we could be doing better. We could be doing better. But, I mean, eh. Long live the queen. Having returned from the battlefield, I still don't feel at home. My body is here, my mind is still in Nordland. Sometimes I wonder if I died there and this is all a nightmare. Sometimes I cannot breathe. I need to feel alive again. Come here, servants. What are we asking him for? To solve our luster or drunkenness? Hmm, good question. So, the Mongols have a foothold. They have a single province. And they're at peace treaty with that guy. Whoops. But they have 100,000 troops. Um, let's see what they do with it. I am surrounded. Blood is streaking down my face and my sword has begun to feel heavy. A huge bear of a man is looming towards me but seems to decide that I'm not worth the trouble. I have just enough time to wonder why before someone runs a sword through my chest. Well, that was the, uh, the strain we've had yet. Um, Queen Tulip III has given up the ghost at age 54. She died in battle, known as an inveterate drunkard. Tulip hardly ever spent a single day without drenching herself in liquor. Barely aware of her surroundings, Tulip will surely pay for her sins in the afterlife. I mean, she was drunk, had an oozing leg wound from, you know, an oozing stump from her missing leg, was morbidly obese, and was running around on a battlefield. Not the smartest cookie, though. She was very, very good at talking to people. Queen Daisy III, merely 14 years old, the realm is left in the capable hands of the regent and council. Long live Queen Daisy III. Alright, so, um, this is a very, very short episode. So, let's
let's uh, take a look. I'll show you guys what we've done here in the province. Our castle is, or our castle, our, uh, oh my word. We inherited a lot of money. Um, okay, let's, uh, let's take a moment. Let's go build another city here. Let's also go repay the Jewish merchants so we don't have that bothering us. Yeah, repay. Thank you. And we're building a keep there. Oops, we should build another keep here. Our hospital's really good. All we need is that, which we don't have enough construction level for it. So, yeah. Our hospitals are amazing, by the way. Or that hospital is. The other ones... I think I did the leper colony. No, I didn't even do the leper colony here. <laughs> but our main province, the hospital, is really, really good. Uh, and then our dudes have upgraded themselves really well. And he's still got to do some work, but it's okay. Our other castles... We build another keep here. Actually, let's check here first. Uh, yeah, let's build a keep. Keeps seem to be the most important. Okay, levy size and garrison size. And, you know, we've spent some money. We're doing good work. But let's go take a look at the world as well. So the Aztec Empire is, well, taken over. Uh, Finland. Finland is still Catholic. Or no, they're not. They're Germanic again. You know, she converted, but her heir wasn't converted. Also, wait. Is his wife blind? His wife is blind and she's depressed about it. I can't blame her. Finland's all over the place. The Aztecs are conquering the world. Nubia's chilling down here. Then we have Rashtrakuta, who has conquered the rest of India. I've never seen India so quite so consolidated. The Jains just, you know, the peaceful, peaceful, loving Jains just conquered everything. Tibet's a mess. The Middle East, uh kind of united under the Abbasids, and then we've got this weird, you know, Taoist Han kingdom in there. Greece is all over the place. Uh, Bulgaria is shrinking. Kazari is having a revolt. Punev? You guys are Tengri? Yep. And then, oh, Kumans are having a revolt. And we have the Mongols up here. We have a lot of troops. They're not at war with anyone. They're raiding. And then they have a truce with them. Excuse me? And then we have the Western Protectorate chilling here. Uh, alright. Well, there we go. That's a highlight of the world. If <laughs> and this highlight of the world is still about as uh, long as Queen Tulip... No, Queen... Tulip. Yeah, Queen Tulip lives. Yeah. Uh, also, our tech is looking pretty darn awesome. We're saving up here to get more morals to organization. Which I think is definitely worth it. And yeah, we're doing pretty darn well with ourselves. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, short as uh, the queen's life was, let me know. Leave a like, leave a comment, ring that bell. Because, you know, after this uh, CK3 in I have my hands on the game, embargo lifts, whatever the requirements are. Whether that's before September 1st, September 1st, I don't know yet. But we'll be playing it on this channel at some point in time in the near future. So, I'll see y'all later. Bye.